Yo, how are you doing guys? Welcome to a new video. We're just going to be covering the new update for Glorious Victus. There'll be timestamps in the description below if you want to skip to a certain part of the video. There'll also be a link to my Discord, the official Discord for Gloria Victus, a link to the website for Gloria Victus, a link to the official Steam page for Gloria Victus, and a link to my Twitch channel where I stream when I can. It's the update version 0.9.1.2.1, Steam Patch 209, new Izmir Media Armor, and weekly improvements. So, we're gonna have a quick look down, have a look at the new armor, have a look at some gameplay, and that'll be about it. There's not a lot in this, to be fair. Um, we're gonna get straight down to the quality of life, update the look of the Izmir top tier medium armor. You know, that's great, I'll show you that in a second. You've probably just seen it anyway. Updated one of the central locations of the Midlands starting quest line, improving the hunting stage and making it easier to start the Fire and Blood quest. That is awesome for the Midland, obviously. Uh, update display range of quest markers indicating specific distant targets traveled, target siege engines and destructible objects. Their markers should now be visible from a much larger distance. That's awesome. Like that is that is definitely awesome. Slightly increased the Midlanders, Midlanders safe zone to cover the final area of the starting quest line. That obviously on the starting quest lines, the entire area should be safe. So yeah, that works out pretty good. Updated the duration of the buffs applied to the potions and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure one of the drinks I've been using was three minutes and now it's five minutes. I could have been wrong. I swear it was three minutes before though. So if that's been buffed up to five minutes, awesome. Added tool tips with a description to, of the guild ranks. Again, awesome. I'm not going to go through the fixes and stuff like that. We're just going to have a look at the armor. Uh, the armor. If you do want to read all this, obviously you can pause the screen now. I'll also leave a link in the description to um, this page so you can come check the fight yourself. Here's the new armor set. This is for the Black Guard. I've been running around in it today, you know, like using it just to get a bit of footage. I do really like it. It looks really good. I'm not a fan of the gloves and the shoulders. But yeah, it's, it does definitely, it looks nice, man. Like, I, I really do like it. So, yeah, we're going to jump in game and we're going to have a look at this armor. Alright, so here's the new armor style. It does look really nice. Uh, definitely a good change, definitely a good addition to the game. You know, a little bit more on the Izmir style of armor. Definitely goes, so definitely looks similar to the heavy, just obviously not as big. Um, I'm personally not a huge fan of the gloves and the shoulders, but you can tell there's a lot of detail that's gone into this. This isn't on Ultra, so it, you know if you were playing on Ultra, the game might look a little bit better. Um, but yeah, there's the armor. It, it is nice. I do like it. It's just, I think it looks better if you have the heavy shoulders with it. Yeah, you know the one with the bear that hangs off the side? I think that looks cool as hell. But yeah, that's it anyway. I've got some gameplay in the, um, in the new armor, so... We'll check that out, and then we'll probably end it there, I suppose. This fight, anyway. I'm coming, I'm coming. Come on, boys. You're all about to fucking die. Is me a scumbags. Watch your arm back from jumping off at roof. Oh, mate, they were going, they were going to jump. We know the trap. This is it. Nope, one jump. They're running. Fuck them, bro. I don't know what I do. Free death. Oh, stagger me. 
Watch out behind you. Ah.